Super Mario Brothers 3, 100% Taz. Do you guys want me to use splits to compare it? They're like all gonna be gold. Oh my gosh. One of the things you need to look out for Tassers is that every like eight frames, they can turn around for one frame and turn back. And that's not gonna decrease Mario's speed, which means every time you do that, you're one pixel further to the left, which means you can build P speed with a smaller distance. You see those little two turn backs there? That right there is like a way for the task to get P-Speed a little bit earlier without really slowing down. And then when you get something like this, where the task like corner clips into the block like 7-7, you get pixel boost from corner clipping. See, it's gonna clip into it and it's gonna, because you can't be inside of a block, the block pushes you out and you get a little bit of a frame like a uh, pixel corner boost. So that's why you see the tasks do that. It's not just for fun. It's not just for, you know, viewing pleasure. And then you'll get another thing right here where he hits the block and then you're gonna grab the mushroom on the side of the block right there, just like that before it comes out of the block. Cause the mushroom is still inside the block. Again, you'll see another thing right here, the corner boost, but we'll look at it one more time. Boom, you see that little nudge there? Then a frame perfect jump right there. And then right here is the last corner boost. Mario is gonna jump just perfectly enough in this corner that it's gonna corner boost him forward. So right, you see that? But that was just like a quick rundown of how all that stuff works. So when you're seeing that stuff, you know why. All right, so now let's get to the run. I kind of broke down a bunch of tricks for you to understand, because the TAS also has an arsenal of their own tricks. Also, if you look at the bottom, the TAS is also explaining things. Uh, mushroom grab saves several frames, so uh, keep your eyes close to the bottom of the screen for the TAS explaining stuff. Literal edge case. Yes, dude, it's literal edge boosting. All right, this is where we get the famous slide strategy. Right here. Bouncing on only certain frames, though tough enemies can be stopped on any frame. Bam. That is faster, the task backwards swag. But unfortunately for RTA runners, it's not anything that's gonna help. Corner boosting, corner boosting. All right, now this level is fucking crazy. This level's so crazy as a task, it turned into a meme. All right, get ready. Okay, so one thing, oh my God. Okay, we're good. I'm not gonna pause it, I'm not gonna pause it. I just wanted to say one thing that makes P-Speed so incredibly complex is showing off how the Tasser like uh, generated P-Speed in this level. Hey Mitch, do you think Mario 3 will get to the task level like Mario 1? If they can do it in Mario 1, you can do it in Mario 3, right? I actually get asked, they're like, what do you think Mario 3 will get like Mario 1? <laughs> Mario was like facing left for literally like five frames there. I mean, the task can rack up one ups there, I can't. Now that uh, doesn't really save any additional time. You want to grab the power up. Hey, I can do that. I can do the tunnel. The task manipulates hammer. Oh yeah, yeah. The task got the best case scenario here for hammer brother. Okay, I've tried this P speed before. I'm very close to getting this P speed, the early P speed, but I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, this is the world record task. Every single world in this task, the tasser gets the best case, most optimal Hammer Brother movements and positions you could ask for. What does P stand for? It does not stand for penis. And I mean, it stands for P power, but the P stands for power. 
The P does not stand for PP. -P. The P stands for Power Pooch, right? PP. But PP. Uh, the P stands for Power. So the task did corner boosting to get into the pipe earlier. All right, so here's off-screen one grab in World One. Okay, if you looked closely, the task bounced off. Okay, so this is this is um. Damn it. I can't rewind and show you guys stuff while using the splits. I did hit the split late, I know. It was like 4.58 or something, so like four seconds faster than me. What do you guys care more about? Breakdown, pausing, and showing you, or the splits comparison? Breakdowns and pausing? Okay, fuck the splits. So one thing to note with off-screen wand grab, you guys can see my mouse, okay? You have to jump into the wall like this, right? You see my mouse, you have to jump into the wall. And when you jump into the wall, you have to get a wall jump and go up the wall. And there's actually a little space up top here. You see my mouse up top here? It's just a nice one tile you can stand there. But if I jump from this flat ground and get a wall jump, the jump off the wall will not be high enough to get up there. And if I jump from here, it's too far. I can't get far enough to jump high enough to get it. So that's why I don't go for off-screen wand grab in World 1. What you have to do, you shoot the boss eight times and you stomp on him, and then you jump on him when he's flipping around all over the place, and you force the boss to launch you into the wall. Then you get the correct sub-pixel and you wall jump. You have to finish killing him while doing that and get the final two shots on him. So right here, you jump on him, you shoot twice, when you jump on him, he launches you into the wall, then you wall jump up, and then you can get off-screen wand grab. But, I will say, I have done this before. So, we can do this RTA, but how many people want to see more resets in World 1? You guys want more resets in World 1? How much time does it say? Four seconds. But I lose like two or three if I go for it and miss it, so it's harder. Uh, we got more... More corner boosting. Watch Mario's body really closely. Right? He's going normal speed. You see that right there? So it's like everything's fine. Normal. Normal. Now right here. No. Nope. Right there. Shoved forward. Saved one pixel. Saved one pixel. But if you do that to 70 blocks, you save 70 pixels. RTA runners cannot do 7-7 seven, seven clips everywhere they want. We can't, we just can't. Oh look, there's another one. So you'll see the task did a big turn back there. 100% to manipulate the Hammer Brothers. Right, that's the most ideal movement. You guys have seen me do this before. I can do this. Fast, fast 2-2p two, two speed. Uh, very difficult strategy. Only worth one three. Okay, so this this is a huge route dis difference compared to RTA runners. We definitely do not use a P wing here, right? P wing? What? Why would you use a P wing here? You don't have fire flower or anything. That's why. We're coming to empty room of nothing. Get a perfect clip up here, and then. Oh, hey, we're at the boss. So that is actually faster. Not only can RTA runners not do that because we can't do all those clips in a run, but we also need the P-Wing later in a run. The task is allowed to use the P-Wing there because the task has different ideas for other levels. But having a P-Wing here is actually really cool. Look at this. Right? You hit the P-Switch. That's really cool. You don't have to wait for the shells, right? You don't have to wait for the shells to break things. The TAS took damage right here on the shell, but also bounced off the shell at the same time. So that you didn't have to fly anymore. You see that? It's gonna take damage and bounce, and then land on the P-Switch. Very cool. Uh, I've actually played with that, but again, I won't ever have my tail there because I don't P-Wing the Fortress. Remember, we only have one P-Wing until World 4. RTA stands for real-time attack, so in real time. Right on, the most optimal Hammer Brother movements, the most optimal Hammer Brother patterns as well. 
Although, so there's one thing that the task does slower here. If you use a star on the boomerang bros, you don't have to wait for the boomerang. In Hammer Brother battles, right? Even though you kill the Hammer Brother, you still have to wait for all objects to get off the screen before the chest appears. So when you watch the task, the Hammer Brother threw the boomerang, so you have to wait for the boomerang to go off screen before the chest appears. But if you guys remember from my 100% speedruns, I use a star on the boomerang, bro. That's one cool thing that I've discovered as well over the task. Bing, bing, bing! Unless they use the star somewhere else, yes. But the unfortunate thing for the tassers is that using a star doesn't really help them anywhere. Most optimal Hammer Brother movement, most optimal Hammer Brother position, and then also most optimal... That's so insane. 285? Uh, we should see some one-up farming here. Yeah, there we go. That is so risky, do you see that? Also, the task just did another screen wrap. Right here, what's gonna happen is that Mario is gonna bounce on the bullet bills on the edge of the screen and it's gonna kill the bullet bills when they're over here. Like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. I've never even accidentally done that. Yeah, the task is like a theoretical perfect run. All right, corner clipping to get into the pipe faster. Off screen wand grab, very nice. That's all it was. Yo, that snipe on the... I really don't think the task plays this level much faster than us. Mm, excuse me. Alright, now we're going for the most optimal Hammer Brother movements. What? You see all those shots? All the corner clipping? Jesus! Save some room for the rest of us. No, the curtain floor is not the screen border. That's just what I have. <gasps> is he gonna go for door three? All right, movement of one. Let me guess, slow pattern. What a surprise. Jesus, man, what the hell? You guys remember that there's there's only been one P-Wing so far. Now, if you guys remember the speed run, we use a P-Wing in 3-5, right? We use a P-Wing in this level because it's very fast and we go to the top of the screen. It's very fast to use a P-Wing here for RTA, but watch. Of course. Oh, he gets, he gets P-Speed. So we would have to get Big Mario wall jump, and it's not even faster for RTA runners. The P-Wing situation in World 2 has to be absolutely perfect if we wanted it to save time. Not even worth it. Bounce the fireball to kill it? Oh my god. Door 3 is so fast, you should just do it every time. But what- what happens when I have to reset? Oh my god, what- What happens if I have to reset all day in World 3 because of Door 3? Wouldn't that be a boring stream? What the fuck? Wouldn't that be a boring stream? If all we did was get to World 3? Actually, that's kind of like the same- What the fuck is going on here?
What? He shoots the fireball backwards. You don't even see him turn around. Look. <laughs> you don't even see him turn around. That was the single frame turn back. I have tried that before. This right here, bounce up. That's so cool. I've tried that before. It doesn't really save time and it's like, it's a single frame trick. It saves some frames, but yeah, it's a single frame trick. This is cool, watch this. RTA runners are so close to getting P-Speed here as well. Now this would be a huge time save in the 100% run if we could get this. This is a very important PCB strategy that RTA runners should be able to get. Well, not should be able to get, but if we did, it would be like, it would, that would be like a four second time save if we got that P-Speed. We are one P-meter arrow away from getting P-Speed in that last level for RTA runs. One arrow away. Yo, Amanda Raid? All right, I can do this P-Speed strategy, but it doesn't save enough time for how difficult it is. With the way you guys see us abuse the P-Meter, you would think that watching this would be something that we could do. So watch, take a look. Like with the P-Meter manipulation. Nah, for some reason it's impossible. I've worked on that P-Speed strategy so hard. We watch it a task for new strats. Sure. All I can say is the task does not do that level faster than me. You cannot corner clip as small Mario, but you can side clip as small Mario. So this right here is really cool. That small jump in front of the thwomp is really cool. How many times I've seen this task? I've seen this task maybe like three times. I've not watched it in a long time. Look at that Hammer Brother RNG right here, guys. Look at this. Look at this, watch. He fights it, and then both Hammer Brothers go to the same spot. So he actually gets one less Hammer Brother movement over RTA runners. Because the Hammer Brother's not gonna move after this one. So, perfect Hammer Brother movement on the TAS versus like the world record or on average RTA runners is probably gonna be somewhere in like the 30 to 40 second range. So, the TAS is probably about 40 seconds faster than the world record run, just in Hammer Brother movements alone. So, that is actually a perfect example of the task using P-meter manipulation stutter stepping to build P-speed in a smaller distance by turning back and not lowering his speed. Watch. Mario will turn back to gain more distance on the platform, but the P-meter will not be affected and it will not slow him down. Now that is called stutter stepping and that is not something RTA runners can do. But you guys see us do stutter stepping very lightly. I call it pseudo stutter stepping. So this is full speed. So we cannot do that, unfortunately. You might be able to work at it for months and months and get it once maybe, but it's not something that would ever turn into a strategy. But it's impressive to know that we can do our own version of stutter stepping in certain situations, like right here. Like I'm pretty sure my version of doing four five is faster than this, like very close. I don't know if it's faster, but I mean, I do like one turn back. Tasted like seven. 
You are not making me watch this airship. I live this airship. All right, we might see some magic here. That trick is something that I would definitely do, but that's a wall jump, and wall jumps are random, so it's not worth- the amount of time save is like half a second. Uh, it's just not worth it. I want to do it, but... That jump also, not worth it in RTA runs. the reasoning behind that. This is where we get P-Speed in this level as well. It's to manipulate Hammer Brother movements as well, like, they had time to kill. Oh, those subtitles. There you go, it was eaten by RNG. How the fuck did RNG play a role in that? Just more RNG to deal with. New strat? Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stutter step my way through that level anyways. Maybe there's a strategy we can find, maybe not, I don't know. But now that's just showing off. More pipe clips. More corner boosting. The backwards. So just to put it into context for you all, Running forward without doing the stutter stepping, just running forward and building P-Speed, nothing's faster than that. So you might be wondering like, at the beginning of this level, why didn't he stutter step to get P-Speed earlier? Because the way the frames work, nothing's faster than holding forward and running. You can't go any faster than that building P-Speed. When you see the Tasser stutter stepping, he is going frames slower, but it's to build P-Speed earlier, which is faster. Then why not start every piece speed with stutter? Well, because, like, this level, right here, he had enough room to build it, so he didn't need to, like, look, right? Holding forward and he had enough room to build it, no, re no reason to stutter step, right? You only stutter step if the amount of running space is too small for you to build P-Speed by just holding forward and run. That's the only reason you would do any kind of stutter step. Building P-Speed in areas where you're not normally able to by manipulating the P-Meter to build arrows at very particular spots, right? So that's a perfect example right there. No need to stutter step. Yo. No, you don't stutter step to have P-Speed or P-Wings when exiting pipes or anything like that. No, stutter step doesn't help you. So right here is a good example. So stutter step there to get P-Speed earlier because you can't just run forward and build P-Speed. And you guys know that because you watch me play this level all the time, right? You guys never see me build P-Speed right here. It's because you can't. You don't have enough room to build P-Speed, so you'll see the stutter steps. In your heart, I always build P-Speed there. Well, thank you very much. Boring auto scroller. There's actually not much to play with at, for the tasser in this, so we're not gonna we're not gonna watch it. This task wouldn't be so good compared to the world record if it wasn't for world seven four clip. Seven four clip saves over a minute, and it's something that's like impossible for humans to do. And that's mainly because what the task does is off screen. Also, the task gets every single off-screen wand grab, and a human cannot do that. Over 20 seconds from off-screen wand grabs probably saved. Alright, world 6. that, man? 
all that just to get a midair. Wait, what? Where did he get the original PSP from? Oh, that's bullshit, man. Because, like, if we could get P-Speed in this level, we could save time at the end, right? By not running back and by getting P-Speed right here, right? Keeping P-Speed out of the pipe. That'd be a good juicy time save, but nope. So this is a really cool P-Speed spot that I want to get that just does not work for RTA runners. Getting it on these staggered tiles. I wish we could get it that early. It wouldn't save that much time, but it just seems like it should be possible and just like doesn't work. It's so annoying. Why? That is so weird that you said that, Rob. The task is like the paycheck and then the RTA run is the result of taxes. That's so fucked up. It's like a really good but not good analogy. So the task keeps Big Mario here, which is insane. How the f does he use the P-Wing, right? That was literally last frame damage boost. Seems possible, yes, but keeping Big Mario here doesn't help me. Big Mario doesn't benefit you in this level, and it doesn't benefit you in the next level either. And then we get to use a P-Wing. Okay, so this is the most abusive P-meter strategy in the history of P-meter strategies. This is the most complex, gross way that you can stutter step to manipulate P-speed. This is the underwater level. Do you guys remember the underwater level in World 6? It's long, it's a really long level. Bullshit. That just saved, like, I don't even want to know how much time that saved. I don't even want to know how much time that saved. Let me remind you, the Tasser saved this mushroom in the fortress so that he could fight the Hammer Brother and get the leaf. Now remember, this is another crazy thing that RTA runners cannot rely on. The only reason he got the leaf is because he fought the Hammer Brother on this tile, right? If he fought the Hammer Brother on this tile, this tile, this one, or this one, you would not have got a leaf. So that's a one in five chance that he got the leaf, but it's a task, so it was no chance. But RTA runners cannot rely on something like this because it'll just never happen. And even if it does, the ability, watch, watch how he does this level. We need to use a P-Wing for this level. Tasters, they don't care. What? Yep. Because he's not using a P-Wing, his flight is limited. When you build P-Speed with the raccoon tail and you jump in the air, the moment you jump in the air and start flying, your flying has a timer. I don't know how long it is. It's like six seconds. I don't know the exact time. But when you get flight, you do not have enough flight to fly up to the top of the section, which is why we use a P-Wing. Without a P-Wing, you cannot fly all the way up here. You can't fly all the way up. No matter where you are, it's just not enough time. So if you watch, Right there, gets the tail swipe, and then the P-meter runs out. Unbelievable. It's just gross. Frame perfect grab block grabs. So he didn't slow down. And then clips through there. So stupid. So the, the Tasser was able to save a P-wing there, where RTA runners are forced to use a P-wing. Swag scroller. Hey, I can make that noise. Now, all right, so the Tasso uses a P-Wing in this level, which is very fast. Very fast. I should use a P-Wing on, right, but I don't have an extra P-Wing like the Tass does. Right, the task wall jumps here normally in 100%. We P-Wing here because it is faster to P-Wing here for RTA run. All right, 
And normally we have a tail here as well to help us get the, the... Like, look at this. We can't do this RTA. We can't do that. So we need a tail to get the fire flower. Jesus, man. Well, we don't use appealing in the fortress, but we use our tails. So we still fly in all the same places. We just don't get to keep the P speed. Now this is the elevator clip, right? The skip. But if you undershoot it, it's over. If you undershoot, you lose your fire flower, and the run's pretty much over. What'd I miss? Dude, the fireball shots? I heard them because I have a wireless headset, but I didn't see them. This is interesting. You guys might ask, why don't you do this for off-screen wand grab, right? Like, it is actually very easy. We could just shoot him eight times, then jump on him and shoot twice, bounce off of him, right? And then wall jump. That That is actually pretty easy. That's not hard. But does anyone know why we don't do that? Lazy? Did you just say that? Oh my god, stream's over. I'm done for the day. Uh, no. Okay, so we do have Fire Flower here. The reason we don't do this is so that we can still do the sub-pixel manipulation for 7-1. Because if we don't get the right sub-pixel for 7-1, the run is essentially over. If we do get the wall jump and we get off-screen wand grab, we will save 4 seconds, but we don't have a guaranteed sub-pixel for 7-1 which makes it very scared. Or in other words, I'm too lazy, I guess. Okay, well, there is the possibility, there is the possibility that we get the correct subpixel when we get the off-screen wand grab. I mean, that's always a possibility. Nice, that's the task task's version of Fast 7-2. The TAS also saves time every pipe transition. If I slow it down, you're gonna see the TAS gets a corner clip right here that boosts him one pixel. Yep, there it is right there. The TASSER takes any opportunity to save pixels and frames. All right, here we go. That's the fastest inventory I've ever seen. All right, here it is. RTA runners, we do not P-wing this level, so uh, the Tasser has another P-wing for this level. This is the moment that really separates the RTA runners even getting close to a Tasser, okay? This is the level. We will never be able to do that. Not only is it incredibly precise with subpixels, Y and X value subpixels are your speed, your speed acceleration has to be disgusting. How fast you have to mash to fly. Like, it sounds like I'm making it seem like, oh, okay, we'll just keep trying it and you'll get lucky. Like, no, you don't get it. But on top of all of that, you then have to do it while you're off screen. You can't see. Went to small Mario because technically it was the death. I wonder how much faster the difference between P-speeding the fortress and P-speeding this level is. Because the task can stutter step, I think it's just fast enough to use. Because, like, we don't need- we can just use a P-wing in this level because we just got a P-wing. It's fine. We don't have to worry about it. So I think it's, like, just fast enough. I think it would be really cool to just be able to do this level first. Wouldn't that be nice?
See, RTA runners cannot do this. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm running right now. Oh man, I'm so glad I did that level. Okay, hold on, quiet time, I gotta do this level. Whoa, I can't believe it. Oh, wow, I'm getting so lucky right now. Oh my god. Oh my... Now I'm just gonna do some stuff that looks like I'm cheating, but I swear I'm not. Airship is too long. Nothing goes on. We watch the fire kill, though. Ooh, a little corner boosting. Okay, do we watch the ships? Everyone loves 1-Up Spam, but he doesn't seem to be spamming the 1-Ups. We have not got any 1-Up Spam yet. He clipped the bomb, though. He clipped two bombs. Oh, we got Wrangless! No way! What? Okay, that I don't ever remember seeing. It's like pogoing the air. Here we go, one up, right? He's like making a point to not get one ups. I'm actually curious how he does hand hand trap one, like without or with a star. I think it'll be without a star. Yeah, okay, let's see. What? Okay, we gotta slow that down. He definitely did like the fastest duck input you've ever seen, right? There's no way you didn't. The fuck? Can you imagine pressing duck and left like that fast? Like that is insane. So that's why I use a star there. I'm working with what I got here. Well, I get peace speed in this level, but not that fast, okay? In a hole, the stutter stepping is not that much of a crazy time save. It's only a time save for the level in World 6. You remember the level in World 6 did the crazy stutter stepping for literally like 10 seconds. Which is like absolutely impossible for an RTA runner. This 100% task time is 1 hour, 4 minutes, and 36 seconds? Yeah. Dude, I've yoinked a lot from the tasks. I mean, I can't yoink anymore. I've yoinked all over the tasks over the years. Um, most of the task shit is dead ends, man. A lot of the stuff that I've had to come up is like variations of things I see in the tasks that make an RTA applicable. But after watching the task this time, I might revisit some things and take a quick look. You think he's gonna go for the... No. Not that, not the sands. So I made a human theory task for warpless that gets 49 minutes. Yoink is an incredibly old saying. Not incredibly, I mean, it's not like 1920s. No, 1-5 P-Speed is another level that's like, we're like one arrow away from being able to get it. Does the 100% task not go for 99 lives? Oh, the caption said final one up, no 99. Uh, let's not forget Bowser's basement as well. Tasser get P speed. That's where it was. Alright, that's very interesting. Gets the one cycle Bowser kill. Bullshit. Just that Bowser kill alone had to have been like five seconds faster than the Bowser kill that we do. Okay, so I can never play Mario 3 again because it would be too embarrassing, right?
All right, yeah, my turn. Let's get our stutter steps going. Yeah, dude, that's so close, man. 